the unbelievable power of the B-2 bomber. It's popularly known as the B-2, but its full name is the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit. This aircraft is quite wide. It has a 52-meter wingspan trumps and 21-meter length. Thanks to its clever packaging, the B-2 is virtually undetected. It is one of the most powerful aircraft that any country's military defense can have. The B-2's cross-section is just 0.1 meters squared compared to that of the cargo aircraft, which can measure anywhere up to 100 meters squared. It can travel more than 11,000 kilometers in one go without stopping because it can refuel mid-flight. Its low drag wing configuration not only helps it achieve minimal cross-section, but its range is also vastly improved. It has radar absorbent materials like a carbon graphite composite, which helps to reduce its infrared signature. In fact, about 80% of the aircraft is made of composite material, which absorbs many of the radar beams that would normally detect the plane. These composite materials are extremely strong and well suited to the B-2's ultra dynamic nature. The wings, for example, make the aircraft more efficient at high speeds, and this helps absorb energy from aerodynamic stress. This is because they have a larger degree of flex than any airplanes you may and I may have flown. While metal and metal alloys have a shorter lifespan, using composite materials helps improve the longevity of this bomber aircraft. These materials can be meticulously engineered to extend and improve what is known as fatigue cycles. A growing number of target countries have recognized this and have turned to other ways to detect the aircraft. They use infrared systems to detect the heat of the aircraft, not only from its engine, but the body, which heats up due to air friction. To help combat this, the engines are buried deep in the fuselage. In the case of a technical mishap, the B-2 was built not to rely on GPS, but rather on a range of sensors, gyroscopes, and radars, which can help pilots recognize where they are based on landmarks. With a GPS antenna, the aircraft will be more susceptible to being picked up by enemies. A new type of GPS, known as M-Code, was created. It is more responsive, reliable, and destined only for use by the military. Hundreds of thousands of dollars were driven into developing this. This represents a significant milestone in navigation technology. We know it's a powerful aircraft, but it doesn't just need to be stealthy. Its primary purpose is to carry and fire ammunition in target countries. Its two internal bays have an official limit of 18 tons, but it's likely to carry even more if needed. Its armaments include 80,500 pounds class bomb, 36,750 pound class bomb, 16,000 class bombs, and 16 nuclear bombs, as well as a handful of other satellite-driven missiles and perpetrators. A decade after the B-2 was conceived, it was awarded a contract integrating two massive ordnance perpetrators, or MOP weapons. This GPS-guided weapon carries about five times 300 pounds of explosive metals and is designed to target even the most protected enemy compound. According to its manufacturer, this is the most survivable aircraft in the world. The B-52 combines three things, which include stealth, long range, and the ability to carry an extraordinarily heavy payload. All of this doesn't come free. Each supposedly game-changing aircraft cost $737 million in 1997. That's about $1.2 billion in today's currency. When compared to the cost incurred to develop the B-2, including testing and deployment, the price is quite affordable. The figure is placed at $2.13 billion per aircraft for this. That's $3.5 billion in today's money. 132 examples were initially commissioned, but the figure was dropped to 75. After the Soviet Union was dissolved, only 20 were acquired as set out under George H.W. Bush administration. 
All 20 examples are still in operation, and the U.S. plans to keep them until 2032, retiring them at the age of 30 years old. An old Ford plant in California was rebuilt to house the aircraft's extensive wingspan. The early stages of the program were kept so undercover that the staff would often be required to work without uniforms to avoid suspicion. Much of the company's procurement was placed through front companies so that the assembly of the B-2 will be kept secret. Purchasing them is one thing, maintaining them is another. It is estimated that each hour of flight requires 119 hours of maintenance. That's twice what is required by the B-1B and the B-52. In 2010, it was said that each hour of the flight cost 135,000 USD to the taxpayer. With a width that is about half the length of a football field, you might think it can carry a lot. Let's look at what it is like to be inside the B-2 bomber. Pilots are trained daily to be able to competently fly the aircraft whenever a mission requires them to. The aircraft has two seats, both of which are occupied by the trainee and instructor, both of which have access to the stick. Like most commercial aircraft, this also has autopilot, which is used to keep things like the altitude on track. Pilots are trained to be aware of both air attacks and the more secretive digital attacks, as well as preparing weapons. Its eight screens help the pilot to keep tabs on information like hydraulics, electronics, and environmental conditions. There's no denying that B-2 Bomber is an advanced, high-tech piece of engineering that combines high top speed and power to destroy whole areas while maintaining ultimate stealthy.